Okay, but whatever. Um, here we go. Uh, second game in this series. We missed the first one. Um, apparently they started a second game, but it got crashed by Steam. Uh, and we have a nice Superman logo on this. Uh, look at this. Cool. Oh yeah. So Rex is playing the Supermans. But um, he's, uh, he hasn't got the authentic Superman color scheme though. Yeah, that's... He should have like blue cape or... It's the 40k version of Superman, I think. Um, yeah. A Force Commander has no invincibility though. Um, kinda is misleading. Um, yeah, he should be the Tyrant Guard, you know. <laughs> Superman logos and everything. <laughs> I like the Tactics Marines with the Superman logo on their shoulders. Very cool. Yeah. The scouts are also pretty cool. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Man, they really they even have a red cape. That's awesome. Yeah. I like that's it. very authentic. Okay, so <laughs> um the turnits are nowhere near as cool. But they lead by one point. So yeah. Uh one game. Uh Rex going tactical marines and a note. And Sterling is going for a standard double term again opening. Yeah, and if he goes for a node, I, I think he's going for fast ASM or Devastators. Probably. Um, shotguns coming up for the scouts. Always a good choice with his Homer guns in early game. Yeah. And in general, chasing these termagants. Force Commander charging in. And this is quite a nice micro from Stalin over here. Uh, he's just bleeding and running away. Yeah, there's the shotgun blast. He's upgrading to Toxin X. And Rex has all his of his army over here. And his tyrant, Hive Tyrant is micro. Uh, not. Uh, he's he's uh, Stalin is idling with his former guns and Hive Tyrant. Yeah. He could be bashing power at the moment. Yeah, he's basically he was busy uh, microing the stuff. So yeah. that's what you have when you're not uh, a pro player. But yeah. Nothing too drastic over here. Victory points. Uh, one to one. What is Rex going for? I mean, he's not buying gens. He's not buying a second tactical squad. He's not buying scouts. Oh, he not is going for a second, second tactical, tactical now. It's a strange de decision to go for a second power node prior to uh, the second tech if you wanted to go t double techs. Um, yeah, scouts need to go a little bit closer to the half turn. Doing quite a number on him, and the half turn needs to go soon. Yeah. And we see a flamer for the tactical marines, and he should really go for the for the power bash now. Yeah, he, he really needs to go for the power bash or he's screwed. Oh yes. Force commander, oh very low on HP, but getting away. Yes. As long as this Homagons don't aim in to the retreat path, and there's a second tactical marines squad. Homagons now getting suppressed by the shotgun blast, and the scouts are in trouble now. But there are the tactical marines, and this Homagons don't want to stay in here. And there's the flamer as well, but yeah, Homagons go. Um, the central victory point goes to Stalin. I have Stalin back at base. And Stalin did a good job, just decapping this uh, natural power node on this map. It's very important to bash power, especially versus space marines. Ooh, the flamer really does number on those termagants. Oh yeah. Termagants, of course, being only infantry armor, whereas homogons have fire-resist infantry armor, so they will take like 25% less damage from flame weapons. And a devastator marines hit the field. Yeah, Devastators are a pretty good choice, I suppose. Yeah. Well, we have the Hive Tyrant, and he can upgrade to the Extended Caracas and charge in. Yeah. But it basically, if he doesn't choose to do so, he can control the Hormagons very nicely. Yeah. Uh, what is Stalin? I, I think he might be going for a fast tier 2. Yeah, it looks like it. 
That is a bit questionable as tyrannids though, because they can rush a vehicle per se. I've turned needs to go well. Um, what Rex really need to go do is bash the power. He needs to yeah, bash the power. Not to cap with the flamer attacks, but cap with the force commander or the second attack squad and push the devastator up with the flamer. Yes. And get uh, a generator or two off. Homogons are trying to bash some power again. Triple gens up for uh, Rex. Meanwhile, um, very late raveners by Stalin. Ah, yeah, I think he have seen the Devastator and went for some Revenus. Uh, questionable choice, he could just go for... Oh, the scouts are in trouble. I'd, I'd say probably just going for a tier going for a tier 2 and getting a zone throw or a Tyrant Guard. Or yeah, both. exactly. Since he has the Hive Tyrant for basic synapse for the Tyrant Guard. Yeah, and he can throw up some uh, capillary towers. Yeah, he, he retreated his uh, homogons and commenting this in the chat because they were flanking the devastated marines. But yeah, so Rex is forcing him off the field. Revenors are here though. Um, Revenors can borrow strike to hit uh, enemy setup teams and disrupt them. Very nice unit, but very squishy. Very and they cost power to reinforce, so we don't want to lose them. Uh, don't want to bleed from them too much. Do we see upgrade on the half turn? No, not yet. The third generator coming up for Stalin, who's going for Tito right now, and Rex is soon to be following him. No devourer upgrade for the. Revenant Brood. And here we see the full uh, Rex army being buffed from the uh, Force Commander's Battle Cry. And this is. And these Homogons are get, getting toasted. They're gonna now. melt. They're gonna yeah. melt. You should uh, this is a bad engagement for Stalin. He needs to, yeah, to run. Be in this engagement. Yeah, Homogons are going to wipe maybe. Two models left. 50. No, he gets. lets them go away. Force Commander gets crippling poisoned, but he is in a sink kill, so he doesn't care. Really? Yeah. A Devastator they Marines. have retreated the Flamer attacks because they had. What? They had the Flamer and they weren't that low on HP and they already had dropped the models. So. Yeah, for some reason the uh, Revenants are gone. What? Ooh, that's bad. I don't know how he used, lose, le lost them, but yeah, Revenants are gone. Well, Probably they ran into the Devastator or something like or that. Or into the base or something like that, I don't know. Or they borrowed out of the map, but no, not really. Okay. Yeah, this Devastator is really an annoy a nuisance for Stalin right now. Yeah, and he's, he's getting a Tyrant Guard. Yeah. And he should follow it up with his own throw. I think so too. Um, or some. Uh, well, here's a half time, and he could drop um, warriors. He has 200 red. Yeah. And Rex is not pushing his advantage strong uh, enough. I think. He's, he's a bit too passive now. In fact, he's going for the storm shield. It's a very curious choice, and I think a very wrong one. Yeah, I don't think that's a good purchase at this point of the game. He's going for some. It might have been good earlier on, but not now. He's got double flamers. That's oh. kind of good, but uh, again, it's just uh, he's gone for that way too late. Yeah, the Soma guns are in trouble. I have Talon coming though to support them, and he is upgraded to the Rending Talons, so. Tactical so, Marines didn't drop a model yet. It's very lucky to get away with three models and 217 HP. Yeah, that's... Okay, now he has a Plasma Dev. I suppose that's a good purchase, but... At this point of the game, it's kind of questionable. Only the Plasma Dev. 
I suppose it's a pretty decent choice for denying VP caps and everything. But uh, thing is that the Tyrant Guard pretty much counters everything Rex has. Yeah, I have Terran being tanked, but this, wow, there's the Seismic Roar knocking over this Foskman. And he's upgraded to the Armor of Electricity, apparently. Um, I have Terran coming on very slowly. And this I have Terran is in trouble. And he might go down. <laughs> wow! Wow, wow, wow! 20 HP. And in fact, he does go down. <laughs> oh my god. This Foskman is in trouble. And I think Stalin is kind of throwing it away at this point, but he has the time cut, so... He had a tech lead, but he really didn't capitalize on it. Yeah, and losing the... Uh, and he's going for tier 3, wow! That's a ballsy move, but I suppose he can get a Doom of Malantai up pretty quick. Yeah, I guess so. Um, as long as... If, if he can keep the Space Marine away from his power farm for... Uh, 30 seconds or so, I think he has enough power for Doom of Malantai straight away. Yeah, and it's very curious. I mean, he shouldn't be able to t to hold them away from his power. Um, yeah. Rex should they just should push this advantage. The power now. Yeah. And this Tyrant Guard is doing nothing with without its uh, Synapse yeah, support, it's, so... it's just so painfully slow. <laughs> it has speed 3.5, I think. Speed of shot. Yeah. Why isn't he pushing power? My god, Rex! Please burn down some generators. You have double flamers. You can't really hurt this tyrant guard with them. And he's floating now. He can purchase anything he wants. He should really purchase something or decide for tier 3 or something. Tactical marines will lose a model soon. And there's no. the Hive Tyrant back, so this Hive Tyrant Guard is now way better supported. And this Tyrant Guard really does a number, so it has 95 DPS heavy melee with a, uh, I think it's some 20 heavy melee splash or something like that, so... Uh, 16, I 16? think. Okay. If, and it, if, it, if it hasn't been buffed, it's 16. Yeah, Force Commander going down with a nice 10 kill. Talent guard tanking like like a boss, and that's exactly yeah, what you just go to the shield wall now. Yeah, I have Talent now being sub and he has upgraded to the bonded exoskeleton, making him supremely tanky. Peter has to go, yes. Okay, and there's a uh, brood nest up near Stalin's natural VP. Yeah, and a capital why, why is he not going for a shield wall? Ah, oh, so. A kind of good choice to go near the brute nest and then go to the shield wall because you profit yeah, from the extra. Not going to the shield but he wall. is not going for the shield wall, yes, exactly. Stop <laughs> that, dropping the model I'm questioning. I mean, going to shield wall near, near the brute nest, yeah, I mean, that, that's a good choice since you get the extra health regen and all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not using the shield wall is kind of questionable. I have time is just spilling blood all over the place. Time cut still rocking in normal mode. Because it's gonna take ages for him to heal like that. Yeah, Rex is going to tier 3 as well. And uh, Stalin could have purchased a Doom of Melantai already, so. Uh, I think he should have gotten the Doom of Melantai. Yes, I, I think it's so too. Extremely good against that blob of tacticals. There's the defend ability from the Force Commander. And I mean, he. Even with the Tyrant Guard, he could have just. Oh! Big friendly fire and stopping a model. I mean, with the even with the tyrant guard, even if he had gone just for the adrenal gland warrior brood, he would have he would have done so much to this space marine army. Yeah, but he really needs to use shield wall on that tyrant guard to heal him up. Yeah, the PDF being way in the back and he's going for Alkan effects. Uh, it's a good choice. Yeah, definitely decent, but uh, they're the Devastator and they can upgrade to the last cannon. And well he has double flamers, I think he should or could 
replace one of them. And he could get a tank out soon enough. Put the tank. Yep. And the no. fix can't really hurt it. Oh yeah, I see it. And it's in shield world and it's moving. Okay. <laughs> this shouldn't happen. Yeah, it's beta 9, some unsolved issues, I think. Uh, I know that the shield wall of the Tyrant Cut has been changed, so... Yeah, it used to be that you could get, like, super speed with the shield wall if you used it while snared. Or while in double snare or something like that. I'm no. not quite sure. But... <coughs> Another big sync kill from the side Tyrant, who's on his way to level 3. Scouts! Ah! Nice play there. <laughs> Shotgun blast into PDF shot. And boom! <laughs> okay, so two models left. He doesn't even he doesn't have the endless swarms up. He should really get them because they just help so immensely with the bleed. Yeah. And yeah, we see Carnifex on the field and Predator coming up. And a barbed strangler. Well, not a bad choice. No, it's not a bad choice, but the predator is going to be a bit problematic. Yeah, it's interesting. At this, he he d d doesn't know that the predator is on the way, but uh, and as long as he doesn't know it, I think the Bobstring has a decent decision because it will. I mean, those double tacticals. He keeps blobbing with the tacticals. That Barb Strangler will punish them so hard. Yeah. But the Predator's on the field, and the Carnifex can't do anything to the Predator, really. I mean, he can hurt it quite badly with each hit, but the Predator should... Well, it's way too fast to be hit by anything, really. Yeah, I mean, the Barb Barbed Strangler, it does Plasma Cannon, so it, it actually does damage to the Predator, even with the ranged attack, but not enough. Yeah. What is he doing with it? I don't know. There's a big Barb... Oh, but look at the damage. Oh. Took half HP off, like one third. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not gonna end well for the Fex. Spawn my drop. It's just not going to end well for the Fex. No, less cannon is on yeah, the yeah, way. Yeah. yeah, he does the right cho right thing and just backs away with the Fex. Yeah, and he needs to chase the Fex, really. He's upgrading to the less cannon, and that's exactly what he needs at the moment. Force Commander is <laughs> tanking all this stuff. Whoa. No, Stalin needs a Venom Cannon Fex, he can afford to get another Fex, so he should just get an another Fex and upgrade to the Venom Cannon. Yeah, yeah, I'll get a Zone Trope and some uh, Venom Brute Warriors. Yeah, yeah, and Vulnerability w will not um, prevent Ability Knockback. And there's the Tyrant Guard coming up. Oh, big Plasma Cannon shot again here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the Tyrant Guard will... I mean, then he has three vehicles, and I mean, Rex has no other real vehicle counters except for the Predator. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, Rex could just uh, drop Micro on all of his units and just play with the Predator, and he could beat uh, Stalin at the moment. I suppose since um, yeah, yeah, there, he's, there he's are no real vehicles, Nair is out. He's really, really cautious. I mean, <laughs> he doesn't need to cautious, be so cautious. But I mean, Stalin should just get the Venom Cannon Fex now. Yeah, probably. Or a Zoanthrope. Yeah, it's a body grenade. Okay. Um. And he's going for the second Cannon Fex. Okay. Yeah. So that's where we're going. Force Commander has still has the option to go for a Power Fist and I think a Power Fist in combination with the Predator will pretty much kill effects. Yeah, it, at least it, yeah, it probably kills him. What is Rex he doing? Can't protect it. This is... He's overcautious. Way too passive. Oh yeah. He's just waiting to be rushed by tier 3 creatures. Yeah. I mean, there's a Carnifex train on com coming soon, so, and he's gonna get absolutely screwed over if, if the second Fex hits the field. Um. Yeah, some Rippers. Oh, Rippers. 
Yeah, Reapers are actually a good choice since uh, he can tie up Definitely. the devs or uh, snare the predator with it. Yeah, it's really a very nice choice. Mm. Immune to suppression, obviously. They can just run in at this Devastator Marines and tie them up, and that's exactly what they do. Diamond yep. Guard taking a lot of damage. Colin has Venom Cannon on his other shack, so now the advan he had a big advantage with <coughs> the Predator, and now it's pretty much gone. Yeah, and this. What is this Predator doing? I mean. Well, let's be more precise. What is um, Rex doing at this moment? And he's floating. He could yeah, he's floating. He could, he could drop assault terminators or something. He could drop a nuke. He could drop anything. He could upgrade his force commander to every war gear in the book. Yeah. And he has the option to go for a less cannon on his devastator marines as well. He has the option to go. Missile launchers, he doesn't take any advantage of his build at this moment. Yeah, I mean, the double flamers are pretty much useless now. Yeah, homoguns, termoguns are no danger. Still not upgraded to endless swarm. Yes. And. Should really get the endless swarm. I mean, it's not <coughs> a very expensive upgrade, but it really helps with the bleed and survivability. And the Predator is back at base. Why is the Predator back at base? I really can't say. Yeah, that's... Oh, he's going for Land Raider Redeemer. And that is a really, really... Why? I, ca I can only yeah. ask why. Yeah, that's... Like, the Land Raider Redeemer has uh, the best... Uh, the worst AV options of all, like e super units. Yeah, <coughs> really. I mean, he's dealing with three vehicles basically. Stalin should get oh. the crushing <coughs> claw for his eye tyrant, though. Yeah, I think so too. Um, maybe. He doesn't even need the bonded exoskeleton, to be honest. Maybe the bioplasma to counter these setup teams, but yeah, bioplasma is okay, but it's a bit unreliable. <coughs> I guess so. Could just get back to the uh, extended carapace, and the third gun effect is showing up soon, I think. Uh, yeah, but now he doesn't. I'm not sure if he has enough pop. I think it's 18. For How much? Gun is Carnifex 18 or how much? I, th I think 18. I might I, be mistaken. I have, no, uh, I have like no idea. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Not really, but I think the swarm lot is 21 or 20. Yeah, the <coughs> and the super unit. It, they're usually 20 or 21. Yeah. Oh, oh god! <laughs> this tactical that move. Hurts. Yeah, and they wipe. Well, the land reader is on the field, so hey. And now he's moving his predator as well. Uh, now he has a last cannon. Finally, and this Fex is uh, now in trouble. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, one Fex is going to go down. Sure, and there we go, second Fex. Boom. Uh, I think the predator, that pred is dead. Oh, that's too bad. But that's really bad. Back the Fex away. Yeah, the Fex is gonna get out. Yeah, less cannon. Oh he no, he, he. What is he doing? Uh, he just backed out of the last cannon range. No, oh, he, he didn't. Did back out of the last cannon range. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's out. Uh, he's flanking with the tyrant guard. Yeah, tyrant guard is. Well, there's the, there's a land raider, so the land raider will hurt the tyrant guard with its uh, multi melter. And yeah. he can so garrison his units. But I mean, the effects will just demolish that land raider. Yeah. Crushing claw have time though. Yeah, this frack assault was totally blood. useless, and this land raider is in trouble. Oh my god. Rex can drop an orbital. Really, drop an orbital. Please. Oh, Kill that everything that's here. They're alive. Yeah, land raider is going to die here. And there we go. Boom.
and yeah, Brex is literally throwing it away. <laughs> Yeah, that There's was a third Carnifex on the field. Our force commander has reached level four. Force commander's down and nineteen nine hundred ninety nine red for Rex. Stalling can drop a nuke as well. He should really use some globals. I mean, for the emperor is super good. Yeah, I mean, if he has uh, thrown, if 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 he had thrown for the emperor on the uh, less cannon devastators. This Carnifex could have gone down. Probably would have gone down. Not yeah, sure, yeah. but I mean it has 300 HP left. Um, what is Rex waiting for? He should have gone all out with his uh, predator and really sealed the deal. He had the option to seal the deal. He was too passive, and now he pays for it. Yeah. He's even down victory point wise, besides dominating all the game pretty much. <coughs> There's a nuke. Yeah. Boom! Ouch! That hurt a bit. I don't think it wipes anything. Ah, uh, attack model. That's two scouts model. Scout models and yeah, Rex is. What is he saving for? He could have purchased a new uh, predator, uh, and all he really no needs is predators. A lot. Yeah. Four fifty. He has enough rank to buy a predator, but he's not buying one. Yeah, and he can deny the victory point cap with an orbital, for example, or. Maybe he's waiting for some terminators, and terminators are kind of not the best choice at the moment. But he thankfully goes for some predators. So half Tyrant. crushing claw, bonded exoskeleton, level five already. And this barbed strangler effects. It's it's a second barbed strangler effects, by the way. Second kind of okay, expected. Now here's the triple cap. I'm not quite sure if uh, Rex can break this. No, he shouldn't be able to. Some spore mines. Boom. Yes. Well, there's a predator, but uh, it's a triple cap. 88 BP left. There's a big grenade coming in. No, he's microing away. Nice. Yeah, these. Stalin has a pretty nice amount of towers in the field. Yeah, and he has as well a pretty nice amount of resources. Yeah, I mean, if he loses a fax, he can just buy another one. He actually has enough pop to buy just one fax more. Yeah. He can buy literally everything at the moment, but he doesn't need to, that's the point. Tactical Marines going to wipe maybe. 100 rupees, 8 rupees, boom. Get away. Oh. Yeah, they got away, but <coughs> still. Yeah, uh -huh. that's it, GG. That's the GG, so Rake's losing it. Um, yeah, I, I think we have commented a lot about what he should have done, uh, done better at this game. Um, the problem is, for new players, um, I mean, I've been a new player myself at some point, and the problem is, once you have a big army, you cannot micro all of the units at once if you are not good enough in microing skills.